Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement, coming to you once again from the basement. Today, we're going to take a look at the EK Phoenix series line and some news that we have from EK itself. So let's get into it. Okay, we're going to go over the history of the EK Phoenix series. Now first of all, let's start with the, when it was first released. That was December 2017. With that, a couple months later, reviews came out and they had their likes, dislikes. And the ones that I found were from the beginning of 2018, the mid of 2018, and the end of 2018. So, the span of them were rather spread apart, but I'm sure there were some on YouTube and things like that that I did not uh, find. But they had their likes and dislikes. We'll go over the dislikes first. Uh, the biggest one was the scalability. Per radiator, you could only have two items on it. So if you only have one radiator, it's gonna be a one CPU and one GPU, or two GPUs. Now, another dislike, and this is just on the opinion side now, that is style. Uh, one of them didn't like the LED lo logo. They thought it was gimmicky and actually admitted that uh, it was just an opinion. Other people might like it. Personally, I think it's pretty cool. I don't use it though because I think it messed up my motherboard when I first was do starting this series. Uh, you have to be very careful, by the way, about that and when you connect that up so you don't fry your motherboard. Uh, another dislike were, was the hose connectors. If you're going to buy a series like this or buy into it, you are looking for uh, the ease of swapping things out. And most people that are looking for something like that may not want something that looks pretty through a window just something that's functional. So that was one of the uh, style dislikes. And let's see, and there were other s subtle style designs such as the case on the CPU uh, water block. Some of them didn't like that. Some of them didn't like uh, how the hoses were uh, how flexible or not flexible they were for moving things around. You know, just little things like that. The likes though, which were very positive by the way, and I agree with, the first and foremost is that it is very comparable in performance for, well, to a closed loop. So, that was something that came out of all the reviews. Second one, like I mentioned earlier, it's easy to use. And third, easy to upgrade. Now, yes, if this series does discontinue, then you're not gonna be upgrading on it. But these connections can be, fine, be, be found on EK's website. And if you wanted to do uh, a closed loop with this, you can do it they have the connectors. Or you can use the ones from your out of date Phoenix series. So with that being said, there were a few things that made me make this video. What one of them was is that I started seeing uh, end of line or EOL on the EK website. And that was for the Vega uh, water block and the GPU Vega water block right here, matter of fact. And I was like, oh man, what's going on here? I also received some responses from the viewers out there, you guys. And I was like, okay, this is about February. I haven't been on the site since January where I found the Vega uh, GPU block was EOL, which is understandable. Vega is approximately two years old, maybe a little bit older now. So it's it's at its end of life as well. And we all know if we're following that Navi should be coming out sometime soon. 
So what I'm thinking is we're also going to see some water blocks for Navi once that comes out. But March 31st, I saw something that really concerned me. And that was the 360 radiator actually was EOL as well, end of line. Sorry, end of life, sorry. And that made me think. I'm like, okay. So I started doing some research for this video. And I found out that uh, it was... It was only a year into the Phoenix series life. But then I thought about it, there was another series that was very similar to this that was out, I think since 2015, I believe it was, somewhere around there. And uh, it, it concerned me a little bit. So I reached out to EK and they reassured me that the Phoenix line is not, is not dead. They are still keeping it alive. Matter of fact, uh, EK just yesterday or the day before, the same day I got their reply, they are putting out a GPU water block for the RTX uh, 2080s uh, and 2080 Ti, I believe it is. Uh, it will be the same as uh, your closed uh, loops. So it will be uh, the... AC series, the EK AC series. So that is something that is a positive thing here and is giving us some hope about the Phoenix series still being alive. I haven't seen any of them advertised. I just checked earlier today on their website. I didn't see any RTX 2080 or 2080 Ti's. Uh, the, that will also just be for the reference cards from what I understand, at least at this point. So you don't have much to worry about the EK Phoenix series being discontinued anytime soon. Maybe within the next two years, year and a half, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what the lifespan of some of these series are. I have not looked that up. Now that's something you're going to have to judge. But if you want to get one, I'd very highly, highly suggest that you do. If you're not looking for something that's very aesthetic and something that's going to be a crowd pleaser. This is a performance item that is not going to cost you as much as you know a closed loop. Not to mention it's going to be easy and something a novice can use. So, hit those like buttons, hit the dislike button, tell me what you think about this video, if you want to see more informational videos, or if you want me to just stick to my, my unboxings and my reviews of performance on the machines, things like that. You know, if you want just me doing reviews, that's fine. That's, that's something I'm, I'm good with. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That will let you know when I put up my next video. And I believe that is everything I have for you today. Let's start a discussion down below in the discussion area. That's what it's for, people. Let's use it. And this is Chris saying out.